Hi, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to talk about a subject that uh, concerns most people is uh, living, having a shelter. Um, I've noticed a lot that in Denver here, for example, this is a sanctuary city and we have a lot of homeless here. Tons of homeless. I mean, the encampments are everywhere. Um, the, the city government is trying to accommodate uh, those who are in need of a home and uh, it's, uh, it's becoming a little bit difficult. Uh, the strain on the cities are, is enormous. It's really, really bad. I mean, they can't... Uh, all these people that are coming in from all these different countries, it's, it's just getting a little bit out of control and I think finally everyone's realizing this. Uh, it's sad. Uh, there is no, as far as the immigration situation is concerned, there's a way to come into the country. The country has to have a border. Uh, I know my uh, <clears throat> my own stepkid, uh, one of them, waited nine years to come to America. Uh, I know it's a long process, but it's the process that I think is... Uh, is necessary. Uh, Nobody is saying that you know you should not come to America. America is a great country. It's the greatest country on on, on the planet, and uh, the opportunities are unlimited. What you can do here, and the quality of life is definitely uh, superior to most most countries. Um, it's just sad that I have to see all these encampments and there's just um, just the resources in general is not enough to take care of these people and I just hate to see and especially when I see uh, older you know people that are not actually uh, immigrants that have recently come to America but American citizens uh, I've seen some s I've seen some veterans, you know, living on the streets. Uh, I think it's it's terrible that we we let that happen. Um, it's just uh, it's just a sad situation. Uh, we have now uh, people actually panhandling, which uh, we didn't have this here in, in Denver. I know we had it always in New York. You know, there was always panhandlers in New York and what they call squeegee, squeegee guys, you know, coming up to the light and trying to clean your windshield. Uh, that has now happened here as well. I've seen, uh, I've seen it quite often now. And uh, I also see a lot of these uh, new, uh, new arrivals uh, using their children uh, with signs standing uh, in between traffic. And uh, it's just a sad sad situation. I mean, I don't want, you know, I don't want to be critical of uh, of just the whole overall situation, but I think uh, people in general understand that this is, uh, this is a serious, serious problem. Uh, we haven't had much uh, success with, you know, the current administration handling this at all. And I would hope that in the future, you know, we're going to come to some kind of uh, normal agreement on how this should be uh, handled. Uh, you know, no country, I mean, any country that you go to has a border and has a process to enter the country and become a productive citizen of that country. So, um, yeah, uh, any thoughts that you guys have about that? Uh, be more than happy to uh, listen to your comments. Um, and until next time, uh, we'll talk about another subject. Thanks. Bye.